best thing about live sound is that you get to do it live. The concerts, are, you know, you you get one shot at it. You get all the adrenaline, and you've got one go at getting it right. You know, you can sound check for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. But unless you get it in the first three minutes of the first song of the show, then you know you can't. It doesn't mean anything. And it's that excitement. And I love I love the fact that it's just kind of instantaneous and you can get you get a reaction to your work as well when a gig is good everybody knows it's good and you are a contributory factor of that um, I'm incredibly self-critical and I very rarely have good shows I really really have a show where I think God, I was absolutely bob on I was brilliant tonight and most of the time I'm just thinking God I wish I hadn't done how stupid am I I forgot to do that there and then. Most people don't notice, but you know, you're always striving for that perfect performance. It's just a great feeling. When you do a great gig, you just walk away and just think, I've got one, I've got one of the best jobs in the world. You know, I do something I really enjoy, and I do get to do it in fantastic places. You don't get much time. I've seen an awful lot of airports. I know an awful lot about different airport lounges, that much more than I care to know. But I've also been on some of the best beaches in the world and walked around and had days off and had brilliant food and met some fantastic people and worked for really nice bands and the great thing about bands is that most of them well almost all the people working in the music industry are doing it because they enjoy it so you're working with like-minded people who are all doing something they enjoy and that's just brilliant I like doing live, I like mixing live recordings and I particularly like mixing live recordings where I, I've got a very tight schedule and I have to do it really quickly. Uh, with Prodigy mostly we do lots of uh, YouTube stuff and it's done, you know, it has to be ready for the next day. So you get back to the hotel, you transfer all the files across, you start doing a rough mix, then you get up in the morning, finish the rough mix, send it off and it gets cut to and then you get a chance, maybe another 24 hours to finish it off completely then send it off. Uh, and I do a lot of that kind of stuff, which is, but that's all has to be laptop based, you know, and it's done on headphones. Um, because it's the only time you can do it is sitting in the van on the way to the gig. So I always try and check it with proper monitors as well. Uh, I always try and get into the studio and try and check it off. But yeah, I mean, it's, you don't have to have the best gear in the world to make the best sound. You know, that's been proved over and over and over again. You need the best set of ears is the most important thing and the ability to use them that's all of it you know the best you've got the best tools with you all the time which is your brain and your ears uh, and that's what people should use mm -hmm.